This video is an introduction to data resources. Other videos in this playlist will go into more detail about each aspect of adding a data resource to a submission. Aspects of data resources includes information on resource name, resource type, resource description, resource creation date, and resource location. Data resources are the main content of a submission. This is the part of the submission where you will add the data that you want to share. Each resource should be a standalone data file. Files that cannot stand alone should be placed in a compressed archive file, for example, a zip file, with supporting files required for the data package to stand alone. For the purpose of visibility for each individual data set, standalone data should be uploaded individually rather than in a compressed file together. This may seem tedious, but it helps potential users more easily see what data are included in the submission and where to find what they need. If there are files that would act as good supporting material for the overall submission, feel free to link to or upload those files. Just make sure to clearly explain what that file is and why it is helpful. There is no limit to the total number or size of files that can be uploaded to the data repository. However, if internet capabilities such as upload speed are an issue, contact us at the email address found on screen or in the description and we can help come up with a solution. Typically, files over 10 terabytes can be shipped on a hard drive faster than they can be uploaded. Data resources can be a file or a link. Later videos in the playlist will go into detail about adding files and links to a submission.